Hello everybody and welcome to the GMS Magazine channel. I am Paco Garcia, your host, and this is the RPG A Day 2020 edition, an initiative started by Dave Chapman, Mr. Autocratic himself, who decided that it would be a great idea to talk about RPGs every single day during the month of August, and that is what I'm doing. Today's word prompt is frame. Now, I could have gone for a frame for a picture, but I like to be weird. So, uh, frames, that's what surrounds the action of whatever it is that you're actually doing. A frame is something that provides boundaries as to where you can put things in and out and how big things can actually be. So, for instance, when you are running an adventure, your frame would be the city where it is located. The frame could be the tone and atmosphere of your adventure. Whether you decide it's going to have a focus on investigation rather than combat, and whether you think that it's going to need some cooperation between the players and the characters, or if some internal tension is going to be necessary. That's going to help you frame everything around what you actually want to achieve. And it's going to provide some ornaments, it's going to provide some appeal to the whole thing. It's not going to be the dominating aspect of your adventure, or your game, or your book, or your campaign, or your whatever. But it's going to provide something, a style, that has to complement what you're going to put inside. And that is also very, very important, because if you use a frame of, say, science fiction into a fantasy setting, things may not go according to plan, or maybe they will. You never know. But if you take that frame, like, for instance, uh, Star Trek's frame is one of uh, exploration, communication, and inner growth. You know, finding out about yourselves at the same time that you find out about other people and finding out what they have to offer you. That would be a frame. If you add that to a game like Call of Cthulhu, for instance, where exploration can be rather dangerous, that could be interesting. But how are you going to add the growth? I mean, I've I've no idea how, you know, understanding Deep Ones or the Nori or Asia Goth is going to help your self-growth. It's kind of unlikely, kind of, but hey, you're welcome to surprise me by all means. Do surprise me. So sometimes it can work, sometimes it doesn't work, and you have to be careful and manage that. But remember that the important thing is that your frame is what's going to limit and put boundaries to what you put inside. And the styles, even if they are contrasting, they have to be complementary, and that will help your adventure a tongue and a half. Trust me. Anyway, up to here. Tomorrow, another little video, and I hope you enjoy. So, I will talk to you then. Take care.